I was always big into martial arts. Once I saw The Matrix, I was like, I'm going to do this for the rest of my life. So I started the journey, right? What, how, and I was like, how am I going to be an actor? I didn't know anybody. I didn't graduate from like a acting school. I was just like, okay, I'm going to be Keanu Reeves. I'm going to be Bruce Lee. I'm going to be Jet Li. I'm going to be the next action superstar. My father was the first to actually tell me, to give me kind of the license to do whatever I wanted to do out of college, to try. In the 70s, right after Bruce Lee died, these film producers come up to him and are like, they give him this card and they're like, you should come do a film test to the studio. And so he was gonna go do the film test, but then his, his father and his mother actually said, no, you have to be an engineer. So I think part of it is a little bit of wish fulfillment and wishing that his son could do what he could not do. So I started working at Pirate's Dinner Adventure in Buena Park. And that was my first taste of like performing live in front of people and getting paid to do it. And so I started doing stunts. And I thought that was pretty close to my goal of working in Hollywood, being an action star or whatever. So through stunts, I was able to be a stunt performer. And then I gradually started to become like a fight coordinator for certain movies. But all through that, I was also trying to desperately be an actor. A lot of my early roles were action acting stuff where they'd be like, oh, we need a guy who can do a fight and also throw a line. Or we need a guy who can do a fight and speaks Chinese. And then I would always be like, yes, that, that's me, that's me. So ultimately I was able to kind of build a resume of that. Then it became like a traditional path where it was like, from my resume of those kind of movies, uh, I was able to get a reel and then I was able to get an interview with a manager who then got me with an agent and then, you know, the kind of rest is history. Especially in this business, right, a lot of people have the, the goal of like, I want to be a headliner of a movie, I want, to, I want to be the series regular, and I have those goals too. But before he passed, I was very thankful to have for myself that small little project that was still big enough, you know, for my dad to see. I did this commercial for Volkswagen where it was with George Clooney and I. And I had done TV shows before that, and that's when he knew. He was like, okay, he's Steven's, Steven's good, you know, he made it. And then I was like, oh. Other actors, more famous actors for sure, have said this before, but it's like, it happens. Generally, it will happen for everybody if you don't quit get into some kind of acting class, just know other actors, and then start making something. That's what people mean when they say practice your craft, right? So just do that, get in that world, live in that world, and then once you have enough stuff, then you can build a reel, and then you can start going and approaching agents, and once you get your agent, then it's game on. Then you just gotta go kill it in the room. But now there's just so many more opportunities for all of us, and especially as an Asian American guy, like, again, it has never been a better time to be Asian and an actor in America. I think we reached kind of a, if not the tipping point, where now I, I'm seeing Asian showrunners, you know? There are definitely more directors, there are definitely more Asian writers, there are definitely more Asian uh, camera people. I used to feel like I was the only one, that was kind of my... I was like, yes, mark of pride, I was the token, right? And now it's like, there's a lot of us, let's be real. Could there be more? Obviously, right? But it's happening, for sure. People are gonna tell you, well, work on your craft and, and you know, take class and find a hobby and divert yourself and all this stuff. And it's like, that's all true, right? That's all true. But all I have to say is, the most important thing is you cannot stop. You cannot quit. I know you're gonna be discouraged. I know you're gonna feel like it's not fair, and it's all of that. It's definitely not fair. Who gets the job? Who doesn't get the job? And you're gonna feel terrible sometimes, and you're gonna feel like it's never gonna happen for you. And it will not happen for you if you quit. But I promise you, I am living proof. It will happen for you.